Corrugated iron sheets are carefully stacked together to make makeshift homes. During the day, the glistening sheets absorb the winter sun, but that soon changes come nightfall. Many residents rely on paraffin heaters or make wood fire to keep out the cold. Last night, the informal settlers were hit by a cold front at zero degrees and endured what could be the first cold winter night since the season began. Winter has no mercy for pensioners such as Theodore Nowasib. He is an active man and on any other day, he would be up already by six o'clock, but this morning, only our visit woke him up three hours later than his usual wake-up time. Noah Sepp would normally wake up and tune on his radio and get a cup of coffee to keep warm, but he ran out of coffee two days ago, and he is feeling the pinch. This house is dilapidated. You see these sheets? There are no proper zinc sheets. I just gathered old material, which we collect. Some are discarded material from drum containers. When it's cold, I just try to dress myself warmly. Some use flat sheets to cover the cold iron sheets as the icy air seep into the shack through many small caps, which makes falling asleep difficult. 54-year-old Ndahambelela Shipura has been living with her two children in a shack of Kurogat's iron for more than 20 years. The nights have become too cold. We are taking out everything we have to keep warm. I only have this one blanket. That is where I fold myself in at night. Shipura and Noaseb are just two of many who will suffer cold winter nights, especially when the temperature are expected to drop to minus one on June the 3rd. The poor slum dwellers endure freezing nights and mornings, not to mention the homeless, those who sleep under the bridges and in the open space. But their hope is that one day their life will improve. From Okanja Park, I'm Lamihangi reporting for NBC News.